August 15th, 2022, marked the end of France's anti-insurgent operation in Mali. Fin de l'opération Barkhane. La France se replie donc du Mali. L'armée française évacuait aujourd'hui sa dernière base après neuf années de présence. But since then, other soldiers have been deployed in the country. Russian mercenaries belonging to the Wagner Group. Their presence has been denied by the ruling military junta, and there's little visual evidence to prove it. But the impact of their deployment is clearly visible. To assess the new foreign presence, Le Monde analyzed satellite images and census data on violence in Mali. What we found shows the scale of the abuses committed by Russian mercenaries and their ineffectiveness in countering the rise of jihadist groups in the country. Officially, the presence of Wagner's mercenaries is still not recognized by local authorities. They are referred to as merely Russian instructors present as part of Mali's cooperation with Moscow. It was only in April 2023 that the Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin acknowledged his troops were operating in Mali. The scale of this military presence is obvious, thanks to satellite imagery. This is Bamako International Airport in October 2021. It was here, south of the runway, that Wagner mercenaries set up their first base in Mali. Ever since, their base has grown steadily. By July 2023, there were barracks, 4x4s, and large blue tents. Bamako Airport is far from being Wagner's only base in Mali. Le Monde verified the existence of seven other bases that have hosted similar equipment, both permanently and temporarily. They can be found mostly in the center of the country, where some 1,600 Russian mercenaries are currently deployed. But what is their purpose in Mali? For Mali, its new relationship with Russia has the same objective as Operation Barkhan. Notre action aujourd'hui, Monsieur le Ministre, c'est comment travailler ensemble pour lutter contre le terrorisme. To combat the terrorism unleashed by the region's two jihadist groups, the Islamic State and Al Qaeda. While Moscow and Bamako claim their cooperation is working, Results on the ground prove otherwise. Le Monde analyzed data collected by the NGO ACLED, which has recorded violence committed in Mali since 2013. Their data show that since Wagner's arrival, instances of abuse committed by jihadist groups have actually increased. In 2022, the Islamic State was involved in the deaths of 688 civilians, according to ACLED. That's eight times more than the average for the previous four years, before Wagner's arrival. And the militant jihadist organization, JNIM, affiliated with Al-Qaeda, caused 3.5 times more civilian casualties in 2022 when compared with the average for the 2018 to 2021 period. There is a reason for the mercenaries' inefficiency. The Wagner Group has far fewer air resources than those of the French army and limited geographical coverage. Between January 2022 and June 2023, around 72% of Wagner's operations took place in the Mopti and Segu regions, where they are based. The mercenaries are virtually absent from areas where the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda are most active. Not only proving ineffective, Wagner's deployment is also used as a recruitment tool for jihadist groups. In their propaganda material like this one, 
The Islamic State and Al-Qaeda make a point of their successes against the Russian militia. Their aim is to use certain populations' hostility towards the Wagner Group as an incentive to join them. Wasim Ness, a journalist specializing in jihadist movements, says that the Wagner Group's atrocities against civilians have provided JNIM with a powerful recruitment tool. According to multiple local and regional sources, there was a surge in jihadi recruitment in central Mali between May and July 2022. The Wagner Group does commit acts of violence. Of the 294 attacks involving Wagner between January 2022 and June 2023, 152, so more than half, targeted civilians. But Russian mercenaries rarely acted alone. In nine out of ten cases, the Malian armed forces were at their side. Over the same period, 957 civilians were killed during joint operations by the two forces. One example of these joint operations took place in the village of Mora, in the centre of the country. At the end of March 2022, at least 500 people were executed and 58 women were raped in this village, according to a UN report. While the UN does not explicitly name the Wagner militia, it does identify the Malian army, which was accompanied by foreign military personnel, as being responsible. This was also reported by a survivor of the operation, who chose to remain anonymous. <laughs> Other eyewitness accounts collected by the UN specified that these foreign soldiers spoke a language that was not English, and in one that they had never heard before. This rules out the involvement of the French forces, whose language is widely spoken in Mali, and leaves little doubt as to the involvement of Wagner's Russian mercenaries. A year and a half after their arrival in Mali, Wagner's mercenaries have not improved the country's security situation, contrary to what the ruling junta claims. And this is despite the $10 million authorities are reportedly paying for the Wagner Group's services each month. The number of civilians killed in Mali since the arrival of Wagner has reached levels never seen before when compared to the 10 years of France's Operation Bargain, 